uh, a simple circuit box. So I'm just picking the part cover, which is right there. Let me open that real quick. So yeah, so this part, I'll be showing how to create GDNT on this part. As you already see some GDNT on there, which I just created for test purpose. So right away, once you just open a part, things you need to look into is the annotations that is shown up in the Creo tree. So you so right here, you can see some target annotations and annotations folder, but you don't really see any information inside that. So for that, just make sure you go ahead and turn on the tree filter settings for annotation. Check that box on and hit OK. So now you can see the GDNT that I created displayed in the Creo tree. This is always be, I mean, like it's always checked off by default. You just need to make sure you turn them on before you get into the GDNT part. So now you can see how I created annotations and you can see also there is three different folders where are used, which is just called annotations that comes under right uh, under the part and then the target annotation folder and the annotation features folder. So I'll be covering almost everything. So just to get an idea, how do we create annotation with all these three different functions and how 3D series will also support everything. So now, uh, Second thing I need, need to uh, give you an advice is just to make sure you know the GDNT is being displayed in the Creo tree, but you don't see them in the graphics. Just make sure you turn on the annotation display button from the quick access toolbar. Just by simply toggling them, you can hide show the GDNT from the graphics. And another thing is here, as you see, the dimensions that I've created will all have tolerances in it, but for by default, Creo will hide them because the annotation settings for entity display, which is under dimension, annotations, and nodes display setting, you have this show dimension tolerance checked off. So this should be turned on in order to see the annotation tolerance that you have given. So right there, I turned them on, and you can see how the tolerance be displayed. Priya, can yeah. I ask a quick question? Sure. All these settings that you... Can you introduce yourself? Oh, hey everybody, this is uh, Gary Bell. I'm going to be in a couple of the other future webinars, as Ben mentioned. And uh, I'm sitting through this one to uh, learn how to create GDT in Creo myself. Hence, I'm asking a couple questions, which should be helpful to you as well as me. So the question I want to know, Priya, is you said that stuff was turned off by default. If I turn it on in this model and save the model, will it open back up on, or does it go back off by um, default? It's not actually a model setting. It's just a Creo basic setting. So it's not going to save with the model. So it depends on how the Creo version is saved in your system. So if you don't see that, just go sh make sure you turn it on and you save in the configuration setting to make it active always. Excellent. Okay. Thanks.